Isaiah chapter 3 and we're at verse 12. What is it? As for my people. As for my people. Children are their oppressors. Children are their oppressors. And women rule over them. How did the prophet feel? Oh, my people. Wait a minute. Does he sound happy? Does he sound happy, folks? No. Listen at this, give chapter and verse. I want y'all to follow me. Isaiah because I know y'all go to churches where the women get up there and preach and kick their legs up in the air. That's why the men sit on the front row so they can get a good view. <laughs> That's right. Uh, you get a bunch of women, hang around that women preaching long enough, they start acting like her. That's right. That's why it shocks so many people when they see so many men. That's right. First Church of the Lord Jesus Christ, we have an army. Oh, yes. We have more men in the church than most people have women in the church. That's right. Listen at this. Isaiah chapter 3 and verse 12. What is it? As for my people, what? children are their oppressors, uh -huh. and women rule over them. How did the prophet fail? Oh, my people. What happened? They which lead thee. They, talking about the woman, which lead thee. Cause thee to error. No, they lead you into the kingdom of God. They which lead thee cause thee to error. And what? And destroy the way of thy path. They destroy? Destroy the way of thy path. All of you that's following a woman preacher, your path to the kingdom of God is destroyed. Destroyed. Did you hear me? Oh, my people. Oh, you can go to church and jump and shout and fall out and hide under her robe all you want. <laughs> that's right. All of you. That's right. That's here in Washington or outside of Washington. Amen. That follow a woman preacher, Amen. you're following a lie. You're following something that God has never instituted. That's right. Hear me good now. Isaiah chapter 9, now we're starting at verse 16. Look at all this Bible. Listen at this. For the leaders of this people caused them to err. What, ha what happened? The leaders you of... You see, it falls back on leadership. That's right. That's right. A lot of the apostolic didn't believe in women preachers until a, a, a bishop died. Yeah. And when a certain bishop died who may stood against it, then all the fake preachers, they jumped up and pushed them in there. And That's the right. most ones they push up in the pulpit will be their wives... Or their children. That's right. Old mothers that used to be against it, now they're in the pulpit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Men that know it's wrong, they sit there and say, well, I'm just going to pray through it. They ain't the Bible ain't tell you to pray through it. <laughs> no. When you're of God, the Bible says, they that are of God will hear God's hear word. God's words. And if you're in the church, hear me, hear me good, that contradict God's word, leave it. Leave it. Somebody say, well, Pastor Jennings, uh, should I write a letter? Did you write a letter to go there? <laughs> you ain't writing a letter to go there. You ain't got to write a letter to leave there. That's right. Leave it! That's right. That goes for you, too, you undercover D.C. women preachers. <laughs> I want you to get this good. Isaiah chapter 9, verses 16 and 17. What is it? For the leaders of this the leaders people, of this cause, people them cause them to error. error. And they that are led of them are destroyed. What? Therefore the Lord shall have no joy in their young men. Look at young men following mm -hmm. women preachers. That's right. What else? Neither shall have mercy on their fatherless and widows. Fatherless and widows of father women preachers. Yeah. Williams, tell me what the Bible says about everyone that's following a woman preacher. What do the Bible call them? For everyone is a hypocrite. Amen. You better give chapter and verse because most folk don't know that's in the Bible. Isaiah chapter 9 and we're at verse 17. It says what? Everyone is a hypocrite. What about your mama? Everyone is a hypocrite. What about your wife? Everyone is a hypocrite. Your sister? Everyone is a hypocrite. The mother of the church? Everyone is a hypocrite. Are they doing right or are they doing evil? And an evildoer. Amen. Are they speaking the truth or are they speaking folly? And every mouth speaketh folly. So when a woman said God called and sent her to preach the gospel, what's coming out of her mouth? Folly. That's right. Do you hear this? That's right. That's right. Now, choose. Choose ye this day. The problem with many of you, you are traditionalists. That's right. You've been going along to get along for years. Right. And you've been in that church and you're used to sitting there under women preachers. Think of it, men. God says in the 11th chapter of 1 Corinthians, the head of every woman is the man. The man. 
So please explain to me, brother, how are you the head at home? But when you come to church, you slide down to the tail. What happened to you? Your wife is a preacher and you a preacher under your wife. And yet the Bible says if she wants to know anything, let her ask her husband at home. At home. That's right. I always say, well, that's the Old Testament. We're in grace now. I'm going to get you some grace. Get you some grace. I'm going to take God. I'm going to get you some grace. First Corinthians chapter 14. I deal with the Old Testament first because Jesus said, you fools and slow of heart, believe all what the prophets have said. That's right. So I believe what the prophets have said. All right, let's get the New Testament now. First let, Corinthians. Let, let, let's crush this real good. First, Listen at this. First Corinthians chapter 14. We'll start at verse 33. I want to take my time here. I want to soak you a little. That's right. I have to lay a foundation to show you what you're doing wrong so you can make your escape out of that church that's been robbing you out of tithing and offering. Amen. So the bishop can buy his wife a mink coat and a chinchilla hat. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Yeah, me good. First Corinthians chapter 14, we'll start at verse 33. Follow me. For God is not the author of confusion. Do you hear this? Amen. God is not the author of what? Of confusion. What is it? But of peace. Peace. As in all churches of the saints. What did he say? Let your women keep silence in the churches. No, let your women have a trial sermon. Let your women keep silence in the churches. Amen. Why? For it is not permitted unto them to speak. Hold it! Let me explain that. Amen. It ain't talking about praying. No. Because the Bible said be instant in prayer. That's right. It didn't talk about testifying. No. The woman at the well, she testified. That's right. It ain't talk about prophesying. No. Because Deborah and Anna was both prophetess. That's right. So it ain't talking about that. No. The Bible says. For it is not permitted unto them to speak. So how do you have a speaking engagement? Amen. How can a woman come in your church? No. And run a revival. That's right. That's right. And then lay hands on people to make sure you're anointing them with oil. Mm. You don't have this type of stuff being done in the Bible. No. Come on back to Bible. And never mind your church organization. It must be organized by the Bible. That's right. It must be centered by the scriptures. That's and right. you've got to follow it. That's it. So the Bible says what? Let your women keep silence in the churches. What are you up preaching for? Amen. Mother Grethel. Mother Grethel. Mother Cunningham. That's right. Sister Brown, Sister Blue, Sister White. Amen. What are you up teaching Sunday school for and a bunch of men and boys in there? That's right. That's right. What are you up rebuking the men, chastising the Just men? Chastising. And they submit to it. Amen. You ain't no man. No. You just a set of britches. That's all. That goes for every man in here. If you don't like it, what you going to do about it? <laughs> That's right. Either you're a man or you're not. Amen. And God made man in his image. That's right. A woman that's a real woman don't mind being married to a real man. That's right. Are oh, you listening to what I'm talking? Let your women keep silence. This is, this is plain. It's plain. Anytime a preacher said God told him to put the women in the pulpit, I challenge that lie. That's right. Because he got to come back to Bible for Jesus said to believe on him as the scripture have said. Right. So any bishop or any so-called elder or apostle or prophet said the Lord spoke to him or showed him in a vision that is right for women to preach, the Lord says to believe on him as the scripture, as the scripture said. have said, so he got to go to the Bible. That's it. I don't want no llama bean vision and no black eyed pea dream. That's right. I want Bible. That's right. Am I right, I said? That's right. Hear me good, hear me good now. 
First Corinthians 14. Now I'm at verse 34. Amen. Let your women keep silence in the church. Give chapter and verse again. First Corinthians chapter 14, and we're at verse 34. Do you hear this? Let your women keep silence in the church. No, let your women have a trial sermon and ordain them bishops and elders and pastors. Let your women keep silence in the churches. Why? For it is not permitted unto them to speak. Do you hear this? But they are commanded. No, it's a request. They are commanded. Uh, maybe I think, I suppose. But they are commanded. It's a commandment given here. To be under obedience, as also saith the law. Do you hear that? That's right. They are commanded. How in the world, you men. Amen. Pastor Jenna, I don't see nothing wrong with it. Don't tell me what you see. Come back to the Bible. That's right. And this is where the problem is. That's it. The Bible said don't lean to your own understanding. That's right. I'm not here to bring you my opinion. No. You're going to come here just to hear my opinion. For what? Amen. I'm going to come all the way to this wicked city <laughs> to give you my opinion. No way. If that's the case, you might as well stay in your church that's full of men's opinion. That's right. I am interested in what God said regarding the church. That's it. Now, if you are of God, like the Bible says, mm -hmm. they that are of God, that's plain, that's plain, will hear God's word. He that is of God. Listen at this. St. John chapter 8 and we're at verse 47. Give chapter and verse again. St. John chapter 8 and we're at verse 47. What did it say? He that is of God. Are you listening to me, Washington, D.C.? That's right. Are you of God tonight? We're going to see. We're going to see. We're going to see now. Oh, yeah. Because the Bible talk plain here. He that is of God. He that is of God. Heareth God's words. No, hear Geno Genesis. He that is of God heareth God's no, word. No, just hear Geno Jennings. He that is of God heareth God's word. So words. don't put it on me. All oh, the women can't preach in your church. I ain't got no church. <laughs> That's right. I ain't got no church. I, I'm not the founder of no church. Amen. I didn't start no church. Right. I was put in by the Holy Ghost. That's right. I had to get in the same way you have to get in. That's right. Bible said you're baptized by one spirit into one body. That's it. That's it. This is the church that no man can put you in. Oh, no. Holy Ghost have to put you in here. Do you hear what it says? He that is of God. He that is of God. Heareth God's word. If you a preacher here tonight and tonight. you don't hear the Bible, you's a Washington, D.C. false prophet and a liar. And a liar. How in the world you claim to be a preacher and fight the Bible? That's right. If you're wrong in what you're doing, repent and stop doing it. That's it. That's right. That's it. Do you hear this? He that is of God. He that is of God. Heareth God's word. Hear God's word. Ye therefore hear them not. You don't hear them. Why? Because ye are not of God. That's plain. That's plain. The reason why you frown at this preaching and reason why you get mad and the reason why you say, huh, I don't care what you say, Pastor Jenner. I know what God told me. God ain't here. Every woman that said God called and seen to preach the gospel lies on God. That's right. You's a liar. Your mama is a liar. Your wife is a liar. Your girlfriend is a liar. Your second wife is a liar. Your daughter is a liar. That's and right. your grandmama is a liar. Grandma. Get me? He that is of God heareth God's he words. He that is of God heareth God's words. If your bishop got it, that shows he's a false prophet. That's right. And he's not willing to hear God's word. That's now, right. let me see what God's word said. First Timothy yep. chapter 2. Chapter 2. And verse 12. First Timothy chapter 2, and we're right at verse 12. Follow it. But I suffer not a woman to I teach. I suffer not a woman to a teach. A woman to to teach, nor to, your nor to authority authority exercise over man, authority over the man, over the man, but to be in silence. How? For Adam was first formed, then Eve. And what? And Adam was not deceived. But what? But the woman being deceived was in the transgression. I suffer not a woman to do what? I suffer not a woman to teach. Why are you in the pulpit? Why? Why? Why are you in the pulpit? That's right. All of you women that are here, your bishop put you in a pulpit, he got you going to hell. That's right. Amen. You call your bishop when you go home tonight and tell him, hey, 
Bishop Carmichael, Bishop yeah. Smith, Amen. Bishop Jones, yeah. I'm coming out the pulpit. I ain't stepping in it again. again. Take your license, tear it up. That's right. Throw it in the trash. That's right. It's just as good as a four dollar bill. Amen. It don't mean nothing. Don't mean nothing. And your license is gonna be a witness against you That's right. in eternity. That's right. But I suffer not a woman to teach. No, they that are of God heareth God's word. Hear words. God word, and God's word says, I suffer, I not, suffer not a woman to teach. I suffer I not. suffer not. not a woman to teach. What you mean? I won't have it. Won't have it. I won't tolerate it. That's right. I won't stand for it. That's right. I won't allow it. That's right. That's right. God say he won't allow it while your bishop allow it. What? Mm -hmm. Apostolics, Pentecostal fakers. That's right. Apostolic impostors. That's right. Hear me good, hear me good, hear me good. I want to roast you while I have you on an open fire. But I suffer not a woman to teach. Amen. 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 I suffer not. A woman and to I teach. know many of you visiting here, a lot of your churches you go to, the women in the pulpit, and some of the churches you go to, they used to didn't have them. Right. Didn't it? And you watched the churches change, didn't it? Amen. Then the preacher get up and lie and said, the Holy Ghost is dealing with me. He's a liar. That's a lie. The Bible said the Holy Ghost doeth not behave itself unseemly, unseemly. Meaning God do not conduct himself the wrong way. That's right. Go ahead, man. If what the apostles had was good enough then. That's right. Then what's wrong with it now? That's wrong now. Amen. But I suffer not a woman to teach. This is in here. That's right. What's wrong with preachers can't preach it now? Amen. Because they wife rule them. That's right. And the bedroom dictate them. That's right. That's He's scared it. if he preach this, he won't get laid by his wife. Amen. Am I right? Go ahead. Go ahead. There ain't no woman hips or thighs should be dictating the pulpit here. No way. Preach it. Go ahead. All right, listen to the old troublemaker. But I suffer not a woman to teach. I suffer not. I suffer not a woman to teach. Glory to God. Amen. What right, else? Nor to usurp authority over the man. Right, right. But to be in silence. What's wrong with you men? What happened to you? What happened to you? Has the D.C. homosexual germ affected you? My Lord. You sitting under woman preaching? What's wrong with you, man? What's wrong with you? You all messed up that bad now? That's you right. got the D.C. virus? That's right. Is that why you can sit under the woman preachers? Go ahead, mother. Under the woman. Praise the Hallelujah. That's Hallelujah. Right. You get in a spirit like Praise a woman. Spirit. Hallelujah. That's right. Oh. You old bobbin head hypocrite. Amen. All right, listen to what I'm talking. That's it. When the Holy Ghost come over a man, that man have no character like a woman. No. When the Holy Ghost come over a woman, she have no character like a man. That's right. That's right. So you so-called women preachers that claim you are anointed. Anointed. Why do you sound like a man? That's right. Walk like a man. Talk like a man. Act like a man. That's it. God has never took a woman out of her femininity. No. Am I right, I said? That's right. Doesn't matter how much Holy Ghost she got. That's right. She's still feminine. In 1 Peter chapter 3 and at verse 4. Let me give chapter verse again. 1 Peter chapter 3 and verse 4. Tell you what. But let it be the hidden man of the heart. Yeah. Let it be the hidden man of the heart. In that which is not corruptible. In that which is not corruptible. That which is not sinful. Even the ornament. Look how what God called it. God compared this conduct of a woman to an ornament. Even the ornament. The ornament of, of a, a meek. 
meek and quiet spirit and quiet spirit which is in, which the, sight is in the sight of God of great price he valued that that's right great price you that's in these old fake apostolic churches you hear me out there too oh yes they hear me they don't like me but it doesn't matter that's right Bishop Noel mm. Amen. You fake apostolic impostors. An imposter. That's right. God's people have fell in love yeah. with Satan. That's right. You, hope your you father have didn't... abandoned yeah. your first love. And because you have abandoned God, you have forsaken the right ways of God and fell in love with Baal. That's right. Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee. Listen at this. Revelation chapter 2, and we'll start at verse 4. God's talking. Nevertheless, I have somewhat. He's making a declaration of what he have against church. Ag that's right. Church people. That's right. Listen. Revelation chapter 2, and we're at verse 4. What is it? Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee. Eh? Because thou hast left. You have left. Thy first love. Your first love. Remember, therefore. From remember. Whence, therefore, from whence thou art fallen. Therefore, from where you fell. And repent. Do what? And repent. Stay in it. Repent. Go along with it. Repent. That's right. Let me show you by the Bible that proves how God's people fell in love with sin. Jeremiah. Yes. A great and horrible thing. That's right. I believe Jeremiah 5.30 if I'm correct. Jeremiah chapter 5 and we're right at verse 30. Listen at this. A wonderful uh -oh. and horrible. Follow me in your Bible. Jeremiah chapter 5 and we'll start at verse 30. A wonderful and horrible thing. And also a horrible thing is committed in the land. Is committed in the land. The prophets, the messengers, prophesy falsely. Notice, the only thing these men prophesy is money. That's right. Have you ever been in the church? They may got a revival going on and some liar up here stop. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. The Lord just spoke to me. Harra, harra, harra. The Lord says there's five thousand more dollars in the house, and He said if you give this five thousand more dollars, He give it back to you a hundredfold. Amen. I want fifty people to give five thousand dollars. Yeah. You old five grand liar. That's right. And you Washington suckers. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Amen. Are you listening to the old troublemaker? A wonderful and horrible thing. It's amazing how these preachers have been doing this for years and nobody caught on yet. That's right. I remember some years ago, my sister-in-law was telling me how her and her friend uh, went to visit some false prophet and the false prophet told the people, if you want to lose weight, the Lord says give $500. My Lord, my Lord. Huh? If you want to lose weight, the Lord says, give $500. My Lord, my Lord. You had men and women coming up. <laughs> and haven't stopped eating that chicken, turkey, ham hocks yet. Amen. Ask yourself the question, family. Yeah. How is it that men's heart have got so cold? That's right. Where you can blatantly lie on God. And it don't bother you. Oh, yes. What happened to your conscience? Yeah. How is it that your conscience is so cold that you are ice cold, pure sinner? That's right. Posing as a preacher. That's right. And you've gotten so tight with the devil that you and him are so close, so close. that you can lie on God with not a drop of remorse. That's right. And you're not afraid. Not afraid. When Marion and Aaron. Moses' blood brother and blood sister spake against him. Even God asked them both, Are you not afraid to speak against my servant Moses? The White House, Congress, and the world. That's right. They have 
have lost fear. Oh, yes. They're not afraid of God. No. No, no. Look at one interview. Biden says it's elementary that the woman is for the man. It's elementary. It's not supposed to be man and man getting married, woman and woman getting married. Right. Now he get old, run for office. <laughs> See, this is what happens when you are desperate for something. Yeah. The heart is the most deceitful thing. And desperately wicked. When desperation sets in, you don't do anything to accomplish what you're trying to accomplish. That's right. Now, many of you, so desperate to hold a title in your church, so desperate to hold a position in your church, yeah. so desperate to be close to some cheap bishop. Oh, yes. Until you will go along with the lies that he's teaching and know it's lies. That's right. Don't you know you're going to die one day just like your pastor? That's right. Your bishop can say any nice thing over you while you're laying out if you want. Oh, yes. But if you die without God, rejecting the word of God mm. to hell, you're going to stand before God in judgment, That's right. and he will say gladly, depart from me. Depart from me. You workers of iniquity. That's right. That's why I'm, I'm determined oh, yes. to stick to what is written here. I can't be bought. No. So I'm saying no one ain't offered you. I've been offered millions. I'm not a hoe, so I can't be bought. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah, glory. I'm not a sellout. Oh, no. Being made a preacher, I was heaven made. I wasn't made like your pastor. No. Went to seminary school and got some degrees and then come out with a big old robe like a trash bag with a bunch of stripes on my arm talking about I'm doctor of divinity. You're a robe wearing fool. That's right. <laughs> Two are making preachers. God and Satan. And Satan. Satan preachers preach in favor of your flesh. That's right. God preachers condemn your flesh. That's right. And uphold God's word. God's words. Are you listening? A wonderful and horrible thing. A wonderful and horrible thing. Is committed in the land. What is it? The prophets prophesy falsely. The prophets prophesy falsely. And the priests. Uh oh. And the preachers bear rule. By their means. Wait a minute. Bear rule by their means mean they got in the pulpit on their own accord. That's right. They made themselves a preacher. That's right. Or they come up with offices of ministry that's not in the Bible. You know, in. like in your church, junior bishops. Yeah. They got them in your church, junior elders. Oh, yeah. <laughs> junior pastors. Yeah. Junior apostles. The junior deacon board. That's right. Can you imagine such? You're not even a junior liar. You're just a liar. There is no such thing. There is no such thing as a junior bishop, junior elder, junior pastor, no. junior deacon. No such thing exists in the Bible. No. And some of you are junior deacons and junior pastors. You've been bamboozled. That's right. You've been led astray. Led astray. You've been lied to. Oh, yes. It just gave you a title to make you feel good. That's right. Come on, son. The prophets prophesy falsely. The prophets prophesy falsely. falsely. And the priests bear And it's rule. easy to tell a false prophet in the church. Easy to tell. Especially when they get ready to prophesy. That's They're right. very dramatic. Oh, yes. You see them come up. Oh, Ooh, Jesus. Mm. Ay, 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 ay. Yeah. Ooh, the Lord said, the Lord said, the Lord said, the Lord said, oh, get ready. They, <laughs> they talk like a robot. They talk like a robot. <laughs> the Lord said, Get ready. That's right. My day is on the way. <laughs> the Lord said, get Oh, shut up. That's right. You, you old Decepticon, you might as well stop it. <laughs> huh? You are Decepticon. That's it. Do you get what I'm telling you? That's right. You are deceiving the people and you're conning them. You're conning them. The Lord give you some robotic voice. Like you, you know, like, like you Siri in a car. Siri, 
That's a more robotic voice. That's right. And you folks think that's the anointing. That's a robotic hypocrite. That's it. That's Come all. on back to Bible. That's right. Cut that playing church out. Come on back to what's written here. That's right. You've been away from the Bible so long and played jack-in-the-box church until you got used to it. Oh, yeah. And they get mad with me because I'm like Grandpa. I come with the switch of the Bible, <laughs> beating you out the playground. That's right. You want that baby applesauce? I tell you, no, sir. No, no. You're going to get some collard greens, turnip greens, black eyed peas, fish. Pastor Jenny, I don't want that. I want cotton candy because my bishop gave me mocking knives. I'm going to slap it all out of your hand. Slap it out your hand. And come with Bible. That's right. I get my greatest fight from so-called church people more than I do sinners. Amen. The church organizations fighting us around the world. Oh, yeah. The sinners respects us. That's true. That's true. Jesus said, I came to my own, and my own received me Receive not. Receive me not. Listen at this in Jeremiah again. Still in Jeremiah chapter 5, and we're at verse 30. What is it? A wonderful and horrible thing a is committed in the land. Horrible thing committed in the land. The prophets prophesy falsely. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. They prophesy falsely. And the and priests, the priests bear rule by their means. And how do God people feel about this conduct? And my people love to have it so. Love to have how it so. How did you get like this? How is it now you party in church? How did you get like this? Yes. Where your choir don't sing to the glory of God, they sing to entertain. That's right. How did you get like this where the preacher don't preach the word, he just preach to amuse, amuse, to make you feel good. That's right. He just preach motivational sermons. That's all. Never preach against sin, never preach against wrong, never preach against unrighteousness. No. Never speak against the devil at all. <laughs> it's true. hard to even hear the devil mentioned in church. That's true. In the mega churches, the devil don't come up. No. God ain't talked about and the devil don't come up. That's right. That's true. What is the church trying to do? That's true. Fit in between. Oh, yeah. This is what the churches are doing now. Straddling the fence. Straddling. They don't want to go too far towards God, so they want to appear to be Christ-like. That's what they want, a Christ-like appearance. What is a Christ-like appearance? Let me hold your Bible, Brother Fletcher. You go to church with your Bible, get out your car, you got your word. But before you go into church, Put that cigarette in there as a Bible marker. Oh, yeah. Or you come to church holding the hands yes. of the woman that's not your wife that you're living with. Or your second wife while your first wife living. That's right. And then lie and say, God gave it to you. Right. So when you say God gave it to you, you're saying God put you in adultery. That's right. Tenth chapter of the book of Mark. Say Mark chapter 10. Follow me in your Bible. And we'll start reading. Come on back. That's right. Come on, Washington. All these thousands of letters I've been getting from D.C. When you're coming to Washington, they've been commenting all on social media. Don't overlook us. Don't <laughs> overlook us. Well, we're not overlooking you. That's right. Hey, man, I'm here now dri driving the tractor of the Bible, and there's some stubborn roots, but we're going to plow it up with Bible. Oh, yeah. We want to plow you up, sister. So you can come out the pulpit. We want to plow you up, brother, so you can hang up your rainbow flag. Get rid of it. That's right. We want to plow your second marriage up because your first wife is still living 
and your first husband is still living, yeah. and God ain't never. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's right. God said the church started on the day of Pentecost at Jerusalem, did not give nobody a second, third, and fourth wife while the first wife is living. That's right. Follow me in the Bible. St. Mark chapter 10, we'll start at verse 1. Follow me. And he arose from thence and cometh into the coast of Judea. I want this to be good. No need to go tipping out now. Yeah. Glory to God. You might as well get this in you now. Get it in you now. All right, follow me. St. Mark chapter 10, and we'll start at verse 1. Uh, and he arose from thence and cometh into the coast of Judea. And what? By the farther side of Jordan, and the people resort unto him again. Yes. And as he was wont, he taught them again. Uh -huh. And the Pharisees came to him and asked him, is it lawful for a man to put away his wife, tempting him? <laughs> Is it lawful for a man, a man to put, to away, put his away his wife, tempting him? Imagine tempting Jesus. That's right. Uh -huh. And he answered and said unto them, What did Moses command you? Oh, he knew they loved Moses. Oh, yes. And they loved Moses then, thank God, and they love Moses now. That's right. All right. And they said, Moses suffered to Moses write a bill of divorce. Moses suffered you to write a bill of divorce. And to put her away. And to get rid of her. And Jesus answered and said unto them, for Let, the hardness you know, of your Jesus, heart. You know, Jesus, now, they went to Moses. Right. And then Jesus gave them the reason, the reason why people ran to Moses. And Jesus answered and said unto and them, said what? for the hardness of your heart. No, it was God's will. For the hardness of your heart. Moses was dealing with a hard-hearted people. He wrote you this and precept. And he said, Moses, because of the hardness of your heart, he wrote you this precept. But from the beginning but of the creation. But from the beginning of the world. God made them male and female. He made, wait, 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 <laughs> wait, wait. We. From the beginning of what? From the beginning of the creation. What did God make? God made them male and female. Well, who made transgender? Mm. That's right. That's right. God already cleared himself. He, that's right. He told you what he made. But from the beginning of from the, the creation, beginning of creation, God made. Wait, them wait, wait. Mm. Who did it? God. What did God do? God made them male and female. Who made transgender? Mm. Devil made that. Devil made that. God testified what he made. But from the beginning there's of the only, creation. There's only two genders. <laughs> there's only two genders in the Bible. That's it. Male. I say there's only two genders in that Bible. That's right. God made them That's male it. and female. Am I right, man? That's right. There's only two genders. There's only you congressmen. Go ahead, brother. And the transgender community. Go ahead, man. They called the church about seven or eight times all last week, cussing us out. Said the L G B T Q R S T U V W X Y Z, the alphabet soup community, supposed to be banding together. To go to every television station that air our program to get us off the air. And they're supposed to be batting together My Lord. to come down Fifth Street at headquarters mm. to protest our preaching. Lord. I wish you hurry up and do it. <laughs> That's right. My stand is a Bible stand. Oh, yes. The Bible points out two genders. But from the beginning of the creation. What? From the beginning of the creation. Since the world was made. God. God. Made them male and female. Just tell me it's God a liar. That's it. That's all you got to do, homosexual community. That's right. Tell me God is a liar and prove it. And prove it. And if you prove God is a liar, mm. Pastor Jennings will wear pink hot pants and a yellow Halter and lime green skeletos. My Lord. <laughs> well, that would be a sight, Pastor. <laughs> that, that would be a sight. Are you listening? That's right. If you show me in the Bible. That's right. 
Don't you hear God talking? From the beginning of the creation. Give chapter and verse again. St. Mark chapter 10 and verse 6. Says what? But from the beginning of the creation. From the beginning of creation. God. Who? God. The White House. God. No, Biden. God. Obama. God. That's it. Let me tell you political fake or something. Go ahead. President Biden, Barack, and the whole Democratic Party. Go ahead. God didn't leave it in your hands no. to establish the law of marriage. No, no. The law of marriage was established by God himself. That's right. Am I right, I said? Thank you are. Go ahead. You political crooks. Go ahead, brother. How much authority you think you had? That's right. The law of marriage was instituted before you were born. Before you were born. Before you were born. And you transgenders who claim you don't know what a woman is. Go ahead, brother. It's your mama. It's your mama. All of you transgenders came from some woman's womb. That's right. None of you transgenders came from the womb of a transgender. That's right. You come from a woman. Unto the woman, he said. That's it. Are you listening? That's right. The Bible says in the book of Genesis. Genesis chapter 3 and at verse 16. And what? Unto the woman he said. Unto the woman he said. I will greatly multiply thy sorrow. I will greatly multiply thine sorrow. And thy conception. And thine conception. In sorrow. In sorrow. Thou shalt bring forth thou children. Thou shalt bring forth children. And thy desire. And your desire. Shall be to thy husband. Shall be to your wife. Shall be to thy husband. Your wife. Thy husband. Your wife. Thy husband. Your wife. Thy husband. Your wife. Thy husband, your wife, thy husband. That's it. That's right. So, President Biden. That's right. President Biden. Oh, Biden. He was a Democratic liar. Oh, yes. I want to say again to all you presidents of Africa who's standing up against America. And standing up against Europe. That's right. It doesn't matter if they try to boycott or embargo. Set up an embargo to keep food and medication and grain and the necessity things for the African people. Amen. Because a man's behind <laughs> is it. more important to America. That's right. Than a starving child. Amen. Amen. President Biden, Preach it, man. answer this question. Preach it. How is it you love a man's butt Go ahead. so much mm. that you agree to not send the necessity things That's right. to the countries in Africa? That's right. How is it you Democrats? Yeah. Threaten countries in Africa. Amen. Because they don't want their men polluting themselves. That's right. They don't want to give they behind Go ahead. up to another man. Go ahead. Think of it. Think of that. I don't want to give up my behind Amen. to a man. Yeah. And as a result of that decision, my child got to starve. That's right. I can't get medication. That's right. Africa. Look to the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Africa, look unto the hill. That's it. From which cometh my help. That's right. My help. Come from the Lord. Go with the God. Hallelujah. Come from the Lord. That's it. That's it. Amen. You got to be a sick country. Yeah, that's sick. That is sick. 
You got to be a sick country. My Lord. That's it. That you are willing to let children and women starve. My Lord. My Lord. Because you want to justify a man yes. parked in another man's behind. My Lord. Now, Lord, some of you church people, including you fake preachers, say that man is too raw. Yeah. He's too vulgar. That's the word. That's the word. We call a spade a spade. That's right. And if any of you scared, you shouldn't be here. Or if you scared, you know, you can leave early. That's right. But when you leave early, don't you ever step foot in the church again. Yeah. Because Jesus said, if you're ashamed of me, I'll be ashamed of you. That's right. Amen. When are you church people Go ahead, man. gonna stop going to church Go because it's Saturday or Sunday and really be committed? Yeah. Where is your godly commitment? That's it. That's it. When you are committed to him, not only will you live for him, you will die for him. That's right. People ask me, man, you talk about the government, aren't you afraid of what they'll do to you? Do what? Do what? Oh, you're in jail. Come on. <laughs> what do we care? That's right. Did not the apostles go to jail? Go to jail. Mm. You fake Christians. Go ahead, brother. Just go to church and carry a Bible. That's it. To decorate your arm. That's it. You're either for God or you're against him. Or you're against him. You either stand up for him. Oh, yes. You're going to bow to the powers of hell. That's right. That's so right. President Biden, you ain't got that much longer to live. Oh, my Lord, my Lord. Tell me, tell me, tell me. The Lord of creation. Yes, Lord. He's going to smite you. My Lord, my Lord, my Lord. You're not a Christian. No. Because the Christian not only follow Christ, they believe in him. They believe in him. It ain't a God-fearing, Christ-like man or woman. Justify same-sex marriage. No. Oh. Look how God is beating America. No. Earthquakes in direst places. Yeah. Floods in countries that don't have them. Yeah. Wiping out your land, wiping out your houses. That's right. God sent pestilence and turmoil. That's right. Take your daddy, take your husband, take your mother. Yeah. Washington. Go ahead. God is going to shake this wicked city. The White House. My Lord, my Lord. God is going to make an example out of you. My Lord. Congress. God is going to make an example out of you. My Lord. All right, listen. Go ahead, man. And he's not going to stop until the terror hit the Supreme Court. My Lord. Because there's only one real judge. Oh, yes. And God, God. is he. Is he. All the judges of the earth have to answer to the real judge. That's right. Are oh, you listening to the old man? That's right. Whoever thought, Whoever thought. that Europe and America would be so loyal mm. to a man's behind. Amen. That they will cause, they, they want to starve countries out who won't accept saying except marriages. All the Caribbean islands, all of Africa, and all other countries in the world that are standing up against it. Yeah. Continue to stand against it. That's right. You churches, 
who are so dedicated to your 5031. <laughs> you don't want to lose your 5031C. That's right. And that's why you won't say anything because you get governmental subsidies for your senior citizens programs and for your children programs and you want to be a little quiet so your senior citizens can have their senior house and the children can have their children house. Yeah. And you ain't nothing but America's whore. That's all. Any time the American government can dictate what you preach, you are America's whore. That's all. You're scared. Scared. You let the American government dare try to tell us what to preach. I laugh at you. That's right. That's right. Yes, you will. Well, we won't sponsor your program. We are happy without your sponsorship. <laughs> That's right. We refuse to compromise the size of a gnat's ankle. Yeah. Because the great God of heaven is not a toy. No. He's a real God. He's a real God. He's not to be played with. And God is not mocked. And he said unto me, there is no judge above God. Do you hear that? In 2nd Esther chapter 7 and verse 19. There is. There is no judge. No judge. Above God. <laughs> Supreme Court. Yeah. Parliament of Europe. All the judges of America and the world. That's right. It proves that you are hypocrites because you have in your courthouses in God we trust. Yeah. You're a liar. That's a lie. LGBTQRSTUVW group. <laughs> Some of the members say they're going to file a suit against me. What do I care? Please bring me to court. Please. <laughs> Give me the chance. Please. To challenge the entire courthouse and you. That's right. When I go, I let Williams know so we can pack up with Bible. That's right. That's right. I'll be, that's right, Pastor. Hey, Amen. That's right. I mean, you, you, you can't forbid me using Bible and they want to use Bible to swear me in. That's right. That's right. You can't get sweet and bitter water from the same fountain. That's right. You so-called apostolic churches and Pentecostals, you don't have the respect of heaven. No. You are nothing but organized backsliders. That's it. You have played with the souls of thousands of sincere people. That's right. You played with the grandparents. You played with fathers and mothers, and now you're playing with generation after generation after generation. Yeah. You preachers now are up with hot pink suits. Hey, uh, Amen. I want to say to our brothers, don't you get too loud in here. That's right. I don't want to see you look like your suit been charged up overnight. <laughs> That's right. I don't care who you are. That's right. That the Bible says modest, it means modest. modest. Apparel. That's true. You don't see your overseeing red suits and all that stuff? Oh, yeah. That's right. No, unplug oh. it. Oh, yes. Shred it. Right. Make a pillowcase out of it. That's right. We're going to do this. We're going to keep holding this. Hold. I'm not playing. No, you're not. Brother, when it comes to that Bible, I'm not playing with nobody. That's right. Everybody got to come back to the Bible and leave it just like that. That's right. In the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter if 15. If a sister got on a pink blouse, that's fine. Yeah. I'm at a point, I don't want to see brothers not even with a pink tie. Amen. I don't want to see a pink tie in first church. Go ahead. They look too feminine. Yeah. Go ahead. They look too feminine. Go ahead, Pastor. Go ahead. See you in no pink tie. Yeah. I don't want to see you in no pink shirt. I don't want to see you in pink nothing. That's right. Leave pink for the women. Amen. Leave pink for the women. They can be pink all day. I want to see you running around like you the pink panther. That's right. That's right. I mean this. That's right. You're going to keep this thing like the Bible has it. Like the Bible has it. Go ahead, man. 
Do you hear this? In the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 15 and verse 20. And what? He hath commanded no man to do wickedly. He hath commanded no man. To do wickedly. To do wickedly. Neither hath he given Neither any man. Neither hath he given any man. License to sin. A license to do what? To sin. You transgenders. Amen. God didn't make you that way. No. You judges that perform same-sex marriages. You're the sinner. That's a sin. That's right. You know, they're trying to make it law now. They made a law in Canada <laughs> that no religion can speak against the homosexual community. Hmm. Well, you know what I find interesting? The government, the law will try to sue you or do anything to you. Let me ask you, the government something. I find it interesting. Why are y'all so angry when someone speak against the transgender conduct, but not one of you politicians are angry when I'm called nigger? That's right. That's right. Answer that. When I speak against the transgender conduct, two men, two women, y'all hit the roof. Amen. But yet your Republican politicians can call black folk nigger all day. That's right. Nobody put them in check. No. You can call black folk, look at them monkeys over there. That's right. Nobody put them in check. You can call black folk, or oh, look at them coons. Yeah. Nobody put them in check. That's right. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. That's true. But the moment someone speak against the transgender conduct, and then you have the audacity. Barack said when he was president to the transgender, he said, I, I feel your pain. <laughs> Barack said, the fight of the transgender community My Lord. is the same fight that blacks had. That's mm. an insult. That's an insult. We were born the way we are. That's right. Black is not a behavior. That's right. Homosexuality is a choice. It's a choice. I can't change my color to No. I can't change my color. No. This is God given. That's right. So when a man trying to clam up on a man because he want to pickpock him. Mm. That's right. 